is it possible to win an Olympic gold medal in the marathon clean without EPO? In my honest opinion, no. There's human physiological limits. Do I believe all the current men's and women's marathon world records are ran with the power, the incredible power of EPO, ethropoietin, boost your red blood cells up? I do 100% on my life believe all the current 10,000 meter, 5,000 meter, 1,500, 4, 8 marathon ran on the power of EPO. And if you believe anything other than that, you'll probably still get picked up at work by your mum or you use your mum's Wi-Fi. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and again, it's not. I'm not saying, I'm not pointing things like, these people are cheats. This is just how it is, man. This is just how it is. If you want to run those times, you have to use EPO. I'm not saying you should. I'm just saying if you want a jackfruit, you need a jackfruit tree. If you want to, if you want to pick a jackfruit off the tree, this thing over here, you need to have the jackfruit tree. If you want to run these times, EPO is part of the program. Oh, no, no, Harley, it's not. I watched the Nike advert. I watched the blah, 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 blah. I watched the documentary on... BBC, and they just train hard at altitude, man, they're, they're pinging it hard, man, prednisone, ethropoietin, low-dose anabolics, high-dose stimulants, look at the faces when they come across the line, they're like, I've just ran a, a sub-20-minute 5k, holy heck, this shit works, and there's, there's a bit of like, a moment of like, oh my god, like, is this, will I get busted, it's like, yeah, you're walking out of this, walking out of the department store, with a stereo under your arm going, that was a bit easy, will I get caught? Like, you know, that's the reality. This is money, the IOC, corrupt as it gets. You know, the ASO who put the Tour de France on, corrupt. They don't care about the athletes. They don't care about that. It's all about the money, marketing rights, sponsorship rights. I get it. When you understand the truth, you can dedicate your life to things that matter to you. If you're worshipping certain people or corporations or whatever, thinking that they're the gold and whatever, no, 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 no. All these pro athletes are merely pawns, disposable pawns. The corporate bigs will just flick off. You got busted, you got DUI, you're in a domestic violence, we'll just flick you off. You'll be replaced. Just get away. Get away. You earned, you earned enough money from us, now you're too old. Get away. Get away. Look what they did to, look what the ASO did to uh, Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong, juice to the gills. Eddie Merckx, juice to the gills. Lauren Jalaberg, juice to the gills. And how come Lance gets banned? All the other guys are juicing as well. Eddie Merckx got busted, you know. How are people getting busted but Lance, you know, persona non grata? But how much, how many millions did Lance make for the ASO, for the Tour de France, for everyone, Trek, etc. You know what I mean? So you just, Lance, just a pawn from the corporate stakeholders, etc. Just get away, get away. Social narrative dictates you can't come to this party. Bad for our sponsorship. Bad for our image. See you later, see you later. That's just how it is, people, all right? And it's like, people often, you know, if you want to live comfortable lives, you're not watching three minutes in this video. You already clicked off and you're going to watch a Nike advert. And the, I think the Nike Vapor, the Vapor Mac, uh, Vapor Flyer, it's an incredible shoe. I think it's the best marathon shoe ever. I'm going to just be honest. I'm going to be, give credit where credit's due. The Nike Vaporfly shoe, amazing. Amazing. Alpha Fly, pretty good as well. But you know, Nike doesn't care about its people. It's just a corporation. It's just turnover, turnover, turnover. You know, turnover. The whole world is around drugs. You know? Can't pay attention at work? Drink a coffee. That don't work? Have a Ritalin. Have an Adderall. Have a Modafinil. You know? Got a headache? Take a pill. Got anemia? Take this, take that, take that. So it's hypocritical for us to, us office workers, to, to take something to do our job better, and then when Elliot or someone else is using EPO, etc., to do their job, entertainers and set records and represent sponsorship expectations and needs, we go, oh, this person's cheat. It's everyone's at the top doing that. This is part of the deal. If you want your shoe to stay on your foot, you got to do the shoelaces up. If you want to be gold medalist, you got to use the oxygen vector product. That's just how it is. Now, you can definitely be... You say everyone's on steroids. No, no, no. It's just everyone. You can definitely make the Olympics marathon team clean. 
Maybe some, you could definitely do it, 100%. But you won't be there in the final, man. You'll be like, you'll be packed full. And there's nothing wrong with going Olympics, being natty and being packed full, not making the final, just participate, nothing wrong with that. You can definitely participate in certain sports at the Olympics natty. No question about that. No question. To win, you could win a gold medal clean. Definitely. Shooting, archery, I, I would dare say it is possible. I would truly believe it. Meditation, you don't need beta blockers, you can just meditate. But other sports, 100 meter freestyle, 100 meter men's sprint, women's sprint. It's just part of the game. It's just part of the game. And uh, now we're repeating ourselves here, but this is part of the deal. So, you know, but there's so many people out there. I meet people all the time. Wow, Harley, you're really bitter. You know, you, you don't believe in miracles. Michael Phelps just has big feet. It's just hard work. He's got ADD. <laughs> ADD lets you legally have speed, amphetamines in your blood. Pharma-grade pure, which I've used before. I've used street-grade amphetamines. I've used pharma-grade prescription from the doctor amphetamines, a.k.a. Adderall, dextroamphetamine. And I remember taking my first Dexy and thinking, why on earth would people use dirty street speed when you can get purity from your local family doctor and do it more safe? I'm just like, and for cheaper. I'm just like, why are people, why, why are people doing street drugs when you can go to your doctor and get it? Crazy. And I think that's what should be done. Because at least if you get it from the doctor, you know what you're getting. Less chance of overdoses. Know what you get. Anyway, that's another topic. But just, just saying, you know, like Michael Phelps. You think Michael Phelps, the most decorated Olympian, was clean without any farm? You think it's possible to train the grueling hours, suppress your endocrine system, your thyroid, your hormones, etc., grind them down to the ground from this brutal training and do that clean and just go fast. I mean, you can grind yourself into the ground, but you won't be bouncing back. But with drugs, you can just go and go, go, go and go. Obviously, you still need to recover, but the you know, the drugs let you train at mutant levels. So you get everything perfected, dialed in, so your weight's at optimum, blah, 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 blah. But people have never used any pharma-grade performance-sensing drugs. Be like, oh, what, well, well. Prednisone. Prednisone is a very powerful one. The contraceptive pill is one of the most common performance-enhancing drugs out there. That's legal. Oh, that's not a, that's not a performance-enhancing drug, Harley. The pill? That's for contraception or some acne. It's, it definitely is. What if you get your period on the day of quali- qualifiers? See you later. Bye-bye. Olympic selection. Bye-bye. So girls who are on the pill don't have to worry about that. Now, there's health consequences of that. You've got suppressed testosterone. You've got risk of breast cancer, blah, 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 blah. But again, that's another topic. I'm just saying, this is part of the deal. Pharmaceuticals, well, this is a pharmaceutical planet. I'm not saying you should. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying this is what it is. Just like, that's just the jackfruit. Some people say, no, it's a durian. It's a chumperdag. It's, it's not even real. <laughs> anyway, that's the deal. Can you win gold, Olympic marathon, 100 meter freestyle? Nah, no chance. Never was, actually maybe in the 1910s it was. But since 1930s, etc., anabolics on the table, blood doping, ethropoietin, EPOs in 87, the rest is history. Low dose anabolics, help with red blood cell production. It's game changer, game changer. So again, you know, when you watch this stuff, understand it's just entertainment and if you find it inspiring awesome that's great it's done its job but don't ever believe these people can do that without pharmaceutical assistance it's just physiologically impossible anyone who says otherwise is a noob or lying